to about, can I do the math? $19, right? <laughs> and I'm like, hold up, these prices ain't adding. The math ain't mathing up. But yeah, your girl's been sleeping on health. y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I wanted to bring you guys some of my favorite products that I have been loving these are new items that um, I have been using a lot lately and of course I like to make sure that I share with my girls some of my favorite products so I have some facial stuff I have some hair stuff some health things um, and then I did recently go to um, Nordstrom's Rack and Ross because your girl has just all of a sudden got this love again for Juicy Couture. I am in love with Juicy Couture. I think it really started back in the day. I really love Juicy Couture. I would get the jewelry. I would get the bling bling velour jumpsuits. And then just recently, I started to watch a couple girls on YouTube that all they do is haul Juicy Couture stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I think I wanna get back in the game with trying to hunt for nice Juicy Couture things because as you know, Juicy Couture, I don't know if they have any more stores, but they do have an online shop and their stuff is expensive. So what I did over the weekend was I went to TJ Maxx and Ross on the hunt for some nice Juicy Couture, obviously discounted because their prices are crazy. So we will get into what I hauled from, the, from those two stores in a minute, but let's go ahead and get into some of my favorites. So the first one, I don't know if you guys heard of this brand, but it's called Ken Euphorics. And this is a brand that was started by Bella Hadid, which is Justin Bieber's wife. And, um, I first found out about this drink because there is a popular LA grocery store that is hella expensive, y'all, but I love it. And it's called Erwan. And she had this smoothie there. It was like a strawberry, um, some type of strawberry collagen smoothie. And in that drink was this Kenya Forex drink. So I went into the store only to get the smoothie, but then, you know, I started going through the aisles and I found these drinks. So I'm like, well, let me try a couple and y'all, I have fallen in love. Now I am going to say that these do taste very earthy and they're different, but I am all about my health, especially someone that suffers from anxiety and things like that. I always try to find like helpful um, supplements and drinks that'll just help me with those issues. And so this one definitely cuts the bill. I really like this, you guys. So this drink in particular, which is my favorite, is called Ken Bloom and it's called Beaming Joy. And basically all their drinks kind of like help you with whatever issue that you're having, which I really, really like. So this one is like, a functional, joyful, if you wanna be social without drinking and kinda of ease and relax without anxiety. Like if you get a lot of social anxiety, this is your drink. And I'm telling you guys, I've used this a bunch of times. Like if I know I have to go into work and I'm presenting or things like that, and this really relaxes you without you feeling like nerve, without you feeling like you're drunk or tipsy, none of that. It just really relaxes you and puts you into like, a clear mind where you can communicate clearly and you're not all in your head. They also have one for like to sleep. They have all kinds, one for your libido. It's just crazy. And I think they came out with a new one, which I'll probably put here that I'm interested in buying, but they do sell these on Amazon as well in packs. They're a little pricey, but y'all, they just have really good ingredients. Now I'm probably gonna mess this all up, but they really wanna like, awaken your heart and awaken different things within you. So this one has Shisandra, which is clarity and vision. And these are like herbs that they put in there. And then the next one is Damiana, which ignites heart fire. And then L-theanine, which I believe I heard before, which is what it basically eases you back to your center. 
So it says, inspired by your favorite all day rose, only dreamier, a glittery fusion of summer strawberry barrel oak, that's the earthy taste, and rosemary citrus, like a warm embrace with your toes in the sand. So I really like these. I feel like, you know, if I'm at a social event or I'm at home and I just wanna relax, but I don't wanna drink alcohol, this is definitely my go-to, y'all. But I forewarn you that some of them do taste earthy. This is one that tastes earthy, but I don't mind it because it's not really a bad taste. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this skincare, y'all, because this is a brand that I have really been loving. They sent me, I'm on their PR list, and I'm not just shouting them out because I'm on their PR list. I'm on a few other skincare's PR list, but this brand has just really impressed me overall. And I find myself really like reaching for their products when I'm doing my skincare, and that is a Lemus. And I'm just gonna go through some of the products that have really stood out to me that I would highly recommend to you guys. And the first one is a Lemus's Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now, this one is, well, this one is supposed to be like to take off all your makeup, but I do find myself using this sometimes when I don't um, have on makeup because I like to double cleanse. But y'all, this is just the best. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys, I done put my fingernails all through, but you see all the oils and stuff in here. Basically, what you do is just put this on your face, rub it all in, remove with a warm, damp cleansing cloth. And so basically what I do is just rub it all in, all your makeup is gonna be melting off and this completely takes off your makeup. But I would highly recommend after you use this to go in with a um, soapy cleanser, which is what I do and I'm gonna share with you guys um, a soapy cleanser by them that I really like. So they basically came out with this whole superfood line and basically all of the um, ingredients in these superfood um, in these superfood products contain all good foods like kale and avocado. And this one in particular, this facial wash contains, I don't know, cause it was on the box, but they contain basically superfoods that are really good for your internal and also your external, your internal and your external. So this one is their superfood um, facial wash. And I've just got this one but I really like it. It's gentle, but I feel like it thoroughly cleans my face. So I'll go in with that cleansing balm when I wear makeup, and then I'll follow up with this superfood. So I really have been loving this, you guys. And look at the size of this. Like you really get a good amount and it smells amazing. It smells like a minty, like refreshing cleanser. Another one of their products that I like that's a superfood, that's from their superfood line is their Kefir Tea Mist. And I really like this one, you guys, because this is like a four in one. It says, feed your skin with this four in one treatment mist infused with antioxidant rich superfoods of Roy Bose, I believe that's how you say it, tea extract and kefir ferment to help soothe and brighten for a healthy looking glow. So you can use this day and night as a toner, primer, setting spray, and hydrating mist. So it's a four in one, but I've primarily been using this as like a hydrating mist before I put on my um, face moisturizer and it just smells so refreshing. And I love the packaging of this. So really love this one. And then the next one from them is a facial oil from their superfood line. And I literally go for this day in and day out. So basically I'll wash my face and then after I wash my face and put on like the facial mist or my toner, then I go in with my superfood oil by Lemus and this is just so good. It doesn't leave your face oily and a little goes a long way. So although this bottle is little, you do not need a lot. I'll just put a couple drops on both my cheeks and my forehead and it really like makes a difference when I put my moisturizer on after because it lasts a lot longer when I layer it with this facial oil. And you guys know all these products that I'm gonna be talking about are definitely linked below. 
So the next one from them is also um, in their superfood line and I really love this, you guys. It's their Glow Priming Moisturizer and it's basically a facial moisturizer that has like a glow tint to it. Now let me see, I'm gonna put a little on my hand and of course a lot comes out just so I can show you guys how it illuminates the skin. Look at that, compared to this hand. Yes. So I have definitely been grabbing for this. I'll just do all my facial stuff and then lastly, I'll put that on and it just gives this natural pretty glow. If you don't wanna wear makeup, I would highly recommend getting this moisturizer because it is everything and it really does hydrate the skin. Um, and then the last one that I have been loving from them is their Superfood Midnight Facial. And basically they recommend to use this probably once or twice a week because it's kind of like a treat for the skin and it's an overnight mask. So you just put a thin layer of this on and y'all, the first night that I put this on and woke up in the morning, my skin was just glowy and it just looked really, really good. So I do really like this and I'm not sure exactly what is in this, but it is part of their superfood line as well. And it, woo, it smells so good. It smells like papaya. But I really love it, love the pink packaging, of course. And this really, really does have your skin glowing the next day. So yeah, I would highly recommend a Lemus if you guys, now it's so funny and it's so full circle how I'm working with this brand and I'm not gonna get emotional because I remember before when I used to work um, in office and where I work in the area that my building was in is a really high end expensive downtown area and we would go in the morning, me and a coworker to get Starbucks and we would walk by this really expensive skincare store and one of the brands in there was a Lemus. And I like, I'm, I, that was a point in time when I was really into skincare and I would buy a couple things that I could afford when I could, but it's just like full circle now that I'm working with this brand and you know, they're sending me their product and I just wanna thank God for that. And I really appreciate that because I remember when I used to look at this brand in that store, like, dang, I wish I could buy these products and now look. So, you know, they send me these products, but I really, really like them. And I would highly recommend that you guys try out Alemus. And I hope I'm saying that right. Let's move on to a couple of hair products that I've been loving. So if you guys watch my Target AI video, you guys know that I have picked up um, Whitney, what is her name? I think it's Whitney White. I might be saying her last name wrong, but her channel is, her first name's Whitney and her YouTube channel is Natural85. And for my natural hair girls, you guys know that she's an OG here on YouTube. And I did not know that she had her own hair care line till I was up in Target and look y'all. <laughs> so basically when I went in there, I picked up this melanin African black soap reviving shampoo. And when I initially got it and I was like on camera, I told you guys, oh, I hope it's moisturizing. But you guys did tell me for the girls that knew, thank you, that this is actually like a clarifying shampoo. And I really, really like that because I use a lot of product in my hair every other day pretty much or every day I'm putting a lot of gel in my hair to keep the lion's mane um, tamed. <laughs> and so I really like the fact that this really cleans my hair out. Like when I'm done, my hair feels squeaky clean, but it doesn't feel like it's just clean to the point where there's no oils or nothing in it. It's like a clean, but I can still feel the natural oil. So I really appreciate that about this product. And I'm highly, highly excited to use the rest of her line because this one was great. So definitely you can pick this up from Target. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that she has her own website, but I'll make sure to link this below because this is definitely a great clarifying shampoo. And then the next hair product. So if you guys, for my OG girls that have been here back in the day when I used to do vlogs and I would only have like 40 views on my vlogs, <laughs> I love y'all, but I would always complain and ask you guys like, 
where can I get a good edge control because I could never for the life of me find a good edge control and it was killing your girl till I ran across this edge control which was so funny because this edge control has been sitting in my drawer and actually I believe my mom gave me this and one day I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm, I, at that point I was fed up because I had about 20 edge controls and my hair is just unruly. So I'm like, let me just try this. And y'all, this little edge control right here is everything. It really lays down my edges and it gives a nice hold. And this, and this I don't think, I think I seen this on Amazon. And you know, I just went past it because I was just tired of buying edge controls like a crazy woman. But this is the True Edge Plus Extreme Hold and this in the scent Sugar Melon. And y'all, this is everything. And I don't put this all through my hair because this is really like, a, it gives a hard hold. But when I wanna do my edges, I just put this on around and it really does stay. But you have to be careful with this because if you keep layering it and putting it on and putting it on, you're gonna start getting white residue, which I get. But this is great, you guys. So if you are looking for a good edge control, don't sleep on True Edge Plus. And I think they have these in all kinds of colors and scents on Amazon. So I'll link it below, but make sure you get the extreme hold. And if you guys have the, the key <laughs> to the edge controls other than this one that are good, let your girl know in the comments. And I'm talking about my girls that have coarse, unruly hair, okay? Please let me know in the comments because I struggle and this is like the only one that has worked for me thus far. Okay, so the next hair product, I'm probably gonna chop up this um, brand, but they do sell this in Sephora and this Adwoa Beauty. And this is their Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. It says it strengthens and repairs and I'm all about strengthening and repairing my hair but I'm also impatient and I know I be ripping my hair out, especially when I take my hair ties out because they get completely tangled in my hair, which is another issue. But I'm always looking for products that are reparative and that are going to strengthen my hair. And this one has been amazing. Um, of course, water's dripping everywhere because I applied this in the shower the last time but the smell is good. It's not amazing, but it's like a nice little, you know, refreshing scent. But overall, the way my hair feels, the way my curls look after I use this reparative mask, I really, really like. Of course, anything in Sephora is gonna be a little pricey, but I did get this a couple months back and it has lasted me. So um, I have seen the other curly girls on YouTube saying or talking about some of the other products from this brand because they're fairly new. And I think that the buzz is positive as far as all of the products. So if you guys have used any of their other products, let me know in the comments because once I get through a lot of these hair products that I've already purchased, I'm definitely going to get more from this line and let you guys know how I'm feeling it. The next hair product that I have, this one I picked up from Marshalls. This was a random buy, it's by Design Essentials and it's their Almond and Avocado Daily Curl Revitalizer. And you guys, I really love this because this is good to put on your hair for some shine if you're wearing your hair curly or not even curly, if you have like curls in your hair and you just, your curls look dull like flat iron curls or whatever dull <laughs> you can use this just spray it on it says transform tired dry strands into plump defined curls using the moisturizing power of almond and avocado it brings curls back to life while eliminating frizz and refreshing hair between wash days so sometimes my curls can look a little dull especially when i'm using a lot of gel and this just gives you that natural shine and it's not greasy that's what i love and what i like is that it doesn't have um it says it has water in it but you it's more like a mist, like an oil, if that makes sense. So when I spray it on my hair, it doesn't leave it frizzy because a lot of these two-day curl refreshers, they have a lot of water in them. 
and then it just leaves my hair a frizzy mess so i like the fact that it's more like an oil base but it doesn't leave your hair like dripping greasy so i would highly recommend this and like i said i got this from marshall's and it was only it was 7.99 and they say regularly 14 but i know that it, it design essentials is more than that so yeah i'm definitely um happy i purchased this because I was looking for something to just like make my curls shine and refresh them without like that frizzy wet look. So yeah, definitely I will link this below. Let's get into one little perfume and I know you guys are probably gonna be like, what? Why is she even talking about this scent? But I have used this scent years ago, back when it first came out. And when I tell you guys the scent, you're gonna be like, yeah, this is like an OG scent but it was calling my name when I was on Sephora's website and I got like the little um, travel spray size and I'm like, dang, I really like this scent. Why have I been sleeping on buying this scent again? And y'all, it's the Flower Bomb Perfume. <laughs> yeah, this scent is just beautiful, you guys. If you guys have not smelled Flower Bomb, it's just one of those classic scents that will never die out and that everyone just loves. And yeah, so I've just been finding myself spraying this. It has this very sweet, you know, sweet, sultry scent. I'll leave the notes as usual here. But yeah, I really, really love this Flower Bomb. It's just a pretty scent that can be worn in the day and the evening time. And I really like it. So. I'm savoring my little bottle. I'll probably go all out and buy the full size, but I wanted to remind myself because I ordered it online and I'm like, let me just see if I do like the Flower Bomb because this is like a five-star scent. If you go on Sephora, they really have high ratings for this scent and I understand why because it's just one of those pretty, pretty scents that could be wore all year round. So yes, I've really been loving Flower Bomb, y'all. I got a couple more products here. So the next one is by Goldie Nutrition and it's their Ashwagandha Gummies. And y'all, I really, and I say this all the time, but I really have an issue with taking my supplements. I just hate the fact that I have to swallow pills. And if I could find any of my supplements, which I actually need to do in the gummy form, that is better for me, but I also need to practice cons consistency. And basically, if you don't know, ashwagandha is really good as like a, um, it helps you to deal with your everyday stress. It also helps with cortisol cortisol levels to promote. It says a healthy response to everyday stress. It's help, it helps with memory, cognition, quality of sleep, and more. So what I did not know though is that you're supposed to take these two gummies twice a day. So I literally was taking two gummies once a day so i'm like dang i probably didn't get the full overall effect of these because you're supposed to take them twice a two two a day twice a day <laughs> two times two so basically um yeah i really love ashwagandha i started with the supplements the actual pills, but they are like horse pills and your girl just cannot swallow big pills. So yeah, I decided to go with the gummies and I lucked out because I got these at TJ Maxx for $12.99 and they are like 20 something bucks at Target. And when I was just in Nordstrom's Rack, they have the little jars if you guys just wanna try them out. And those were like 10 bucks. So I'm probably gonna definitely go back um, and get those little jars. But anyway, you guys, ashwagandha is just good to help you to lower your stress levels and it's just gonna help you overall just feel better. So definitely would recommend ashwagandha. And I also got the ashwagandha drops from the Aeron expensive grocery store. And I always forget that I have them because it doesn't taste like anything. You could drop it in your coffee, your water, and you get the same effects if you take the supplement. So definitely check out ashwagandha if you guys have not put that into your supplement routine. And then the last product that I have, you guys, is a makeup product, and it is by e.l.f. It's their Hydrating Camo Concealer, and it is in the satin finish. And y'all, I have been sleeping on e.l.f. products because 
I literally get all my makeup from Sephora. If it ain't in Sephora, your girl is like, uh-uh, I can't do it until recently. So when I did a Target haul and I used AI, it recommended that I got this concealer and I have not looked back. This concealer is everything. It lasts, it's full coverage. I have bought expensive, y'all, expensive concealers from Sephora and it literally, I could see the dark under my eyes, but look, you guys, it's just so bright and I like to use it under my eyes my forehead and my chin to just brighten that area and this j does the job now the um, shade that I'm in is 84839 deep caramel and I love it so I'm definitely going to be heading back to Target eventually to also look into more um, from this hydrating camo line because I think they have some other um, products under this line but yeah let me know if you guys have been using elf products and what is your favorite product from the elf line because yeah your girl's been sleeping on elf now we can get into this tj maxx and um her not tj maxx this nordstrom's rack and ross hall of my juicy items and a couple other items that I hunted down. So let's start with the one little item of juicy that I got at a Nordstrom's rack. But let's, first of all, let's get into Nordstrom's rack prices. So I was in Nordstrom's rack, like I said, and they have, which I was shocked, they sell Naked Wardrobe. Now, I used to shop Naked at Naked Wardrobe years ago. Um, but basically they used to start out, the, the only thing they sold was leggings and like crop top sets to go with the leggings. Now they done branched out this year into all kinds of other stuff you can buy. They used to have the legging sets and they used to have like dresses and jumpsuits. That's all they had. But obviously the brand has gotten a whole lot bigger and now they even have a men's line, which I was shocked to see. But anyway, in Nordstrom's Rack, they were selling um, naked wardrobe. And I'm like, hold up, these prices ain't adding. The math ain't mathing up because the jumpsuit in there was like 50, 60 bucks and I went online and it was the same price. <laughs> so Nordstrom's Rack, what is going on? But anyway, their Nordstrom's Rack, you really have to like do your research. Don't just think, oh, this is a good price. Like pick, out your, pick up your phone go online and really compare the prices because sometimes Nordstrom's Rack be thinking they slit. But yeah, so I ended up getting this juicy racerback tank top, y'all. And isn't it so darling? Basically, I am on the hunt for any of the OG, like velour, juicy couture, um, clothing and this is all they had y'all and they had it in an extra large and it was $34 which I could believe that that is a discounted price for Juicy Couture and of course this does not have the tag to show you oh yeah so it was regularly $69 if I would have just bought this straight from Juicy Couture. So definitely I saved some good money and I cannot wait to wear this but yeah really really cute i hope you guys can really see this because my lights in here are just super bright so yeah got that and that was it oh and then i found some really cute pink velour pink blue velour pants with the juicy on the butt you know with the bling bling but they were a size medium so me and my daughter were going back and forth like whoever the pants fit better that's who's gonna keep them and of course they're a little too big for her and way too tight and not long enough on the ankles for me but she wanted to keep them so we're probably gonna go to the tailor and get them taken in for her but yeah your girl is on the hunt and I didn't know that Forever 21 also sells Juicy Couture but they don't sell the OG with the Juicy on the butt it's all like the brand new stuff that's just like the plain velour and no bling on the behind. And I'm like, I like the OG stuff. So yeah, that is <laughs> my goal is when I can to go to TJ Maxx or go to um, Nordstrom's Rack and be on the hunt for the OG juicy stuff. So when we went into Ross, if you guys don't know, Ross is big. If you wanna find Juicy, juicy Couture pajamas, go to Ross. They just had a whole, whole section of just racks and racks of Juicy Couture intimate wear. So your girl was just going crazy. So the first pajama set that I got is this shirt. 
and it says juicy on it and it's like this nice rib material and what I like is that everything comes in like sets. You buy it as a set at Ross. It's not gonna be like separate, like sometimes these stores like to do. And then um, these are the matching pants. So they're super long, which I like. And they say Juicy Couture around the waist. And y'all, this was only $15.99. So you know, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, yeah, go ahead and put it right on in the basket. So that's the first one. And then the second pajama set that I got was their classic velour. And as you can see, it says Juicy Couture all over the shirt. And y'all, this is just so cute. And I love the detail, even the buttons say Juicy Couture. So I thought this was really girly and cute. And then of course the matching pants which say juicy all over it as well. And I know that this is just going to look super cute and I might have to try these, these on for you guys and put it here on the screen, maybe, but yeah. And this was a size, this is a medium. And this was actually originally gonna be my daughter's because I got the black one. But then once we got home, she tried on the pants and Juicy runs, um, they run very, very big for some strange reason. So I'm like, well, I guess it's mine. And so this was, where is the price for this? Well, originally this is $58, you guys, but oh, it was $16.99 for this set. So really soft, really girly. Love that for me. And then, um, I went into the intimate area and look at these bras, you guys. I have to take it off so you guys can see because having it on this hanger. So they had these bra sets that came in um, pink and black and they say Juicy Couture on the straps and these are just so cute, you guys. And it's like this soft lycra material almost like the t-shirt bras that's the vibe that is giving me um the t-shirt bras from victoria's secret and y'all these bras were only 13.99 and regularly they say um juicy couture sells these for 48 dollars so yeah I'm telling you guys, don't ever go into these stores spending full price for bras and underwear. That's just something I'm never gonna do. That's why the last time I went to Victoria's Secret, I'm like, nah, I'll find me a better deal. But look at these, these are just cute. So yeah, and I believe these are, are these push-up bras? I think it said it on the hanger, I don't know. Yep, it says these are sexy push-ups. So yeah, super cute. And then the next two things I got were underwear and me, I'm all about no panty line. I cannot stand to wear clothes and you can see the panty line on them. And both of these underwear sets are no panty lines, it says on here. And yeah, so aren't these super cute? So basically, um, they come in three and the first one just says Juicy Couture and on the bag, look at that. These are so cute. And then a pink pair, which is just plain. And then you have a black pair and these were $8.99. And the next one, um, these are like a soft material, but they also say no panty line. And the first one says juicy with the cherries. And then you have this red pair. And then you have a black pair and they all say juicy around the waistline. And then this one, do they all have the, yeah, they all have this little like peekaboo thing going on in the back, which I thought was super cute. So yeah, and again, these were $8.99 as well. So six pair of underwear, and basically they come out to about, can I do the math? Basically six pair of underwear for $18, and they're high quality. I know they're gonna be high quality because they are Juicy Couture. Let me just show you guys one off the hanger. Super cute. And I love that they just, they're stretchy. 
and yeah so that is that and what I also like to you guys when you guys are looking for underwear make sure that they have that like cotton support on the intimate area because that is very important you do not want that area to be this material because that would be all bad but yeah so ooh, and I didn't let me show you guys I'm gonna take these off the hanger so you can actually see I didn't even see these when I bought them but you see they say juicy here that is super cute and then the black pair also says juicy ooh. I done broke the hanger y'all and these are the black ones I think these are so cute and this is the back yep and I don't know if I mentioned but these are regularly three for 32 so this is a hell of a saving on underwear so yeah and I will definitely be washing these I know you guys probably all do that but I never wear any bras or underwear that I buy um, without pre-washing them so yeah love that for me and then the last item that I picked up because I just I go on and off of my mood for this girl but I love her she definitely has been someone that I looked up to growing up and it was like this shirt spoke to me because I was just walking randomly to the shoe section in Ross and this was like randomly hanging like facing me as I was going to this to the shoe section and I'm like I gotta have this shirt and it is an Aaliyah shirt and it's like this great acid wash um, color and it says Aaliyah we need a resolution all I need are you that somebody basically naming out all her songs it says try again and I really did look at this shirt you guys it says princess of R&B and it basically lists out all of um, not all but some of her popular songs and I thought that this was super cute and I don't know if this oh yeah this actually comes from her clothing line so it says Aaliyah on the tag and it actually says Aaliyah is a trademark of Aaliyah so this actually I believe came from her clothing line and this shirt was $9.99 and it's a very soft stretchy material and I thought that this would just be something cute to wear when I'm running errands or something like that. But yes, you guys. So those are all of the items that I hauled over the weekend. And definitely make sure that you guys look out for more videos when it comes to me on the hunt for Juicy Couture. And let me know in the comments if you guys like these type of videos where I bring you guys my favorite products that I am using up, as well as like things that I have hauled recently as well and kind of incorporating those into one video because I buy a lot of stuff and I feel like a lot of times I use up the things and then you guys don't never, I never get come around to sharing it with you guys. So I feel like randomly you guys will just see these videos pop up where I'm showing you guys new things that I bought as well as things that I have been feeling that I want to share with you guys. So just let me know. And also you guys, I do want to come on here because I definitely want some feedback from you guys on, um, on video ideas things that you want to see from me you know of course i bring you guys all of the hauls and products that i'm loving but i want to make sure that i keep you guys engaged and that you guys are seeing content that you like so please help your girl out and let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see from me because I would definitely be happy to make the content for you guys. So let your girl know. But I do have an exciting video that I am brewing up and that I will be filming in the next couple of days for you guys. So look out for that. And for all my new subscribers, what's up? Welcome to the BJD Gang Gang. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you guys just stick around because we have a lot of things. I just want to, you know, keep expanding. And I just appreciate all the love and engagement from you guys. I pray that you guys are all doing well, that you guys are keeping the faith. If you're going through anything, just make sure that you are praising God, keeping the faith. So as always, I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys very soon. Peace.